Christmas. It's me. I'm Alex. Thank you. Thanks. Good evening, everyone. Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had an excellent day. Me too. Yes. Uh -huh. I had a great day. You know, I opened up a bunch of presents. That was cool. What'd you get? Well, in one box, I got one lump of coal. And in the other box, I got three lumps of coal. Wowee! That's a lot of coal. I got two presents also. One of the boxes had one lump of coal, and the other box, well, it also had a lump of coal. Cool. What about you, Seymour? Did you get a bunch of lumps of coal? What'd you get? Cool. Coal? Yeah. Yeah. You too, Sally? Uh-huh. Lots of coal. Cool. Well, at least we'll be able to keep the heater running this winter, you know? With pure, clean coal. Because it is clean coal that we got. Like, it's not dirty coal, is it? No. Like, we got a bunch of clean energy coal coals. So, I think it's just charcoal from the backyard. Oh. Well, I mean, I think that's still basically coal, maybe. Right. Gotta use clean coal. All right. Well, when I had said that I was gonna do a Christmas stream, a yeah, it's no propane. Propane tanks won't fit in stockings, so... Hey, Fawful. And also, hey, Liddy. Did I say hello to Liddy? I don't know. But... Yeah, I don't think I did. Hello, everyone. Alright. So... Um... Okay, yeah. When I said I was going to do a Christmas show today, I thought it was going to be much earlier. And then, like... You know, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning Georgia time, but I still wanted to do a Christmas show. So we're going to do one. Uh, and if you got a problem with that, take it up with Santa Claus because we're here to do this episode of It's Me, I'm Alex. So. Hello to the 500,000 bots? That's super weird. This is Toad's Christmas Adventure. No volume. I guess in this game we're gonna save something. Not too sure, really. It does have a certain snowy Christmas atmosphere, so tis the season. The music is interesting. The snowballs bounce all funny. Thank <laughs> you. 
Christmas. I hope everyone out there had a holly jolly Christmas. Yes. And that your stockings were full of good stuff. And that your tummies were full of delicious dishes. I mean, not the actual plates. Just like the food that was laid upon the plates. Please. Don't eat the plates. Oh. Well, if they're edible plates, I 100% endorse that you eat them. Is up Santa's evil brother and saved me. Look at that. We beat a game on it, it's me I'm Alex. I said it couldn't be done, but there I did it. But the thing is, is that I think there's a sequel. That was Toad's Christmas Adventure, right? And so now it's time for Toadette's Christmas Adventure. And you can ask my producer to smack the uh, Nintendo one time. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Monster took Toad and ran. There we are. We gotta find that monster. Isn't what I was supposed to do. Yeah, it's very the little wiggly things coming out of the pipes are a little interesting. It's an invisible block. is very minimalist and it it's a whole new vibe. I think so too. The other snowballs were bouncing on the ground and stuff. The way the Toadette throws them is a little more useful. Thank <laughs> you. 
good. These are some clear looking ice blocks. If I ever did see them. I almost feel like I'm in a Goonies game. I don't like it. I don't know, and I it's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that was shown on screen. Please don't play that game ever again. Oh my god. What the heck? I was... Wow. Add that to my list of most terrifying bosses ever encountered on this stream period that was wow horrifying all right let's see they were one day We've got another one coming right up at ya. Just a second. One second. Controllers acting funky. All right. All right. Dinner's ready. I think. This is Mario's. Mario saves Christmas, and I think Mario is the one doing the saving. I thought that only Jesus could save you. No, in this timeline, only Mario can save us. Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what, Louie? Well, I mean... Oh no, Santa's presents have been stolen by Ludwig. It's up to Mario to defeat Ludwig and save Christmas. Dang it, Ludwig. Alright. This is pretty jamming. Happy Holidays. Ice Bros walk back and forth, occasionally throwing two ice balls that damage Mario. Oh, is that where the music was coming from? Let's see. A little slippery. This levels, I mean, this game is a little less. Ice blocks can only be destroyed with fireballs. Some have one coin inside of them. Cool. cool. Yeah, it does look cool with the Christmas lights and everything. 
What's cooler than cool, Seymour? Cool. That works. We would have also accepted ice cold. Ice cold. The Christmas trees are a nice touch, too. Liddy's got a point. What did Liddy say? Adding cool to cool is colder than cool. Colder than cool? That's how they say it in Canada. Wait. This is pretty nice wintery music. Let's This music more makes me want to hit catch a wave on the surfing boards. I really enjoy that Christmas bell on the left speaker though. how you know it's Christmas. So this is all Crash Bandicoot music but with, like, Christmas bells. I see. It's pretty intense. Gotcha. Huh. Played Crash Bandicoot before, but we need to get back to doing that sometime. There's so many games in this world. Almost can't take it. Oh, heck yeah. I'll definitely be checking those out first. Maybe, probably. I hope they have a heck of a lot of dialogue, too. Because one of the things I like is when they port things to the GBA and they give it a bunch of words to read. Like, stuff that didn't normally have words before, and they're like, well, time to do a bunch of reading. 
I think that was like Nintendo's trick back in the day to pad out the length of games. It's like, well, if they sit here for like three and a half days reading all the exposition, they'll feel like they got their money's worth. Come on to you, Nintendo. In 2005. Making me use my imagination to imagine when the reading starts feeling like padding but I start feeling like I've been had kind of felt that way when I was playing Pokemon Sun and Moon to be honest but it just it could also be that I was feeling irregularly patient impatient that month when I tried playing it. Oh, yeah. That Medal of Honor game did. Somebody had to tell John Honor's story in the GBA version, or was it Game Boy Color? Whichever, you know, because... Tuis are walking piranha plants. I felt very educated when I read it. Someone should make a saving Christmas game, but it takes place in the desert. It's just a bunch of desert levels because Nobody would look for Christmas in the desert. I mean, really, whenever you're saving Christmas, where is it going to be? Always an ice level. Hide it in the desert levels. No one will ever find it. In fact, don't even hide it during the month of December. Like... Kidnap Christmas, hide it in the month of, like, a month no one would think of, like, I don't know, June or July, in the desert, bam. I just hacked Christmas forever. I probably should have submitted that to the Santa Claus authorities or something. Bam. Time to 
Time to go to the bro forest. Hope there's a bunch of bros here. Like, hey man. The song sounds like, aha. This happened. Dang. What was that? I'm so confused. By like... Well, I tried, Liddy, but I was stuck. That was weird. I didn't... I, no, guys. I was... That was like... That was like a watch. No. I would never. I'd take complete responsibility for all of my stupid actions. Nope. I do too. Man. You're losing your touch, Alex. That was my fault. Does this say anything? Dude! Now it's just a comedy of errors. Blame it on the game! Huh. I don't... Gotta save Christmas. What? Dude, no. Mm. Some ice bros are stationary. Well, that doesn't help me with the guys that can just freeze me into place. Thanks for the helpful tips, Nintendo. Dude, just let me. I. I there's. There's no way past it. You got a hot tip, let's. Do I gotta stomp him on the head or something? I did. Ah. Bah, humbug. And Christmas wasn't saved that year. No. Yep. Christmas was not saved. Like, it was ruined. Nobody got any presents. Nothing. Like, everyone was sad. There wasn't even Christmas feast to feast upon. Because... Mario couldn't save Christmas. No. Yeah, everyone went hungry that Christmas. No. Yep. I'm just kidding. It was all a dream. Mario actually did save Christmas, and everything was fine. Cool. 
Yeah, it was all a dream, y'all. So. That's it. That's I've never seen that. That's great. That's me mad in an ice block. That's cool. Alright, well. That sound, it's, I know it's a short one, but it's a late one, and it's a Christmas one, and everything, but we're gonna go for the night, and, um, we're gonna take, like, a short break until New Year's Eve, you know, because we haven't taken a break in a while, just a little short like four day break you know to kind of re you know to refill our I don't know just to relax for a little bit oh you're welcome let's thank y'all for watching we will be back for our annual December 31st it's me I'm Alex New Year's Eve countdown extravaganza and I can't wait so by then I will have been rested up and ready to go to count down the new year for you if you want to watch it if not I'll be counting it down for me and the puppets and Daisy and Miss Ruth and you know it'll be all good but I'll be here probably around 10 or 11 I'll let you guys know on the Discord. So, but I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope y'all have a great week and y'all had a great Christmas. I'll see you December 31st. That's, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I love you guys. Merry Christmas. And don't forget. Goodbye.